So I was in a bunch of trees, and I just came out of a wooded area um, and uh, kind of broke upon this. I'm 45 miles um, outside of Crescent City, heading on the 101. Um, and uh, I know there's a lot of fog right now. It is, uh, I think it's just about hitting 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, Also, sneaker waves will eat your face. Mm. There's something out there in the fog, but I can't see what it is. It looks like a big lump. Maybe it's a ship or a rock or something. But they have this nice little pool off here so that you can uh, come down and take a look. I mean, I'm not going to, you know... I'm not going to stay long because, you know, I got to... I want to get up to uh, Crescent City, and they have... Is that a cave? Oh my god, that would be so cool. It's too dark, I can't see. Okay, well, whatever. Doesn't look like it. I can smell the salt. It smells really good. But it's so foggy. I came out on another patch, uh, that, uh, road that separated a lagoon in two, basically. Um, and it was just this, mountains, mountains, covered in trees, 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 and then the beach on the other side. It was pretty awesome. Being stuck in Monterey so long, I, I, uh, didn't appreciate this stuff as much. I definitely didn't. Back in the car and keep going, right? Those clips are pretty cool. This is the not town of Oric. Well, apparently it's a town. They said it is. Also, oh my god, some of these people have sheep, and I saw a little bitty ones, and I was like, oh my god, baby sheep, baby sheep, they're so cute. <laughs> they look delicious. Oh, well, they will be one day. Man, this place really is small. Holy crap. I can see why online I couldn't find a, a motel that might be in this area because there just straight up isn't one. <laughs> Wow, this place is pretty trashed, actually. It's like there are a couple novelty shops, and then that's it. Wow. Oh, oh, there we go. There's a motel. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't look shady. I'm sure they don't make meth there. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, not so much. It's all right. Not that desperate. where I had originally intended to stop, um, but then, you know, thank goodness I looked it up online and was like, wow, there's nothing here. <laughs> I mean, you know, these mountains and stuff are beautiful, but as far as a place to stay and not feeling like I'm going to get, you know, <laughs> my head bashed in by meth dealers, like... <laughs> Lady Bird Johnson. What's up, Lady Bird? How you doing, girl? Now, this area, this right here, reminds me of Michigan. There's some places in Michigan that look just like this. Except for the mountain part. I mean, there's no mountain. Well, these not until you... Oh, you can see those spooky things. Oh, fuck! Why would you put those there? Um, but, uh, until you get to northern Michigan, anyway. Be alright. Be home tonight. I'm kind of glad I left at 5, that way I could see some of this during the daytime. I mean, I knew that it was only going to be about 70, 70 miles to uh, Crescent City, so I just left late, later than I usually was. I keep forgetting that I'm going to have plenty of time, that it's going to be okay. And I'm going to have all the time that I need, provided the money that I'm expecting comes in. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'm going to be in for a problem. <laughs> separate sides of the state, but I'm pretty sure they're right across from each other. Oh wow, look at that fog. It's pretty cool. Ow! <laughs> Let's 
looks like the camera's jerking around a little bit. I don't know why I just wanted to record some of this, because it's just beautiful. It's just really pretty. giant bull and like a Paul Bunyan over there and in Elkhart there used to be one of those outside this hardware store until somebody cut his legs and he fell I mean he was like huge he was like freaking he must have been like 50 feet tall he was awesome that just made me think of that but I didn't grab it quick enough and I was kind of hoping uh, in the last just before that there was another little wooded area kind of like this here and but the uh, trees had all thrown across each other, so it was like a canopy. It was super cool. This is 15 miles outside of Crescent City. I just came like out of some trees and into this, and I was like, oh my god, that's so cool! Ugh, I can't even... Ugh. There's some rock formations out there and some other cool stuff. Maybe these might have been... I don't know. These might be too far out, but... Uh, pretty cool. It's pretty rad, right? I don't know what this place looks like when it's sunny. <laughs> Jump across here real quick. Oh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Sand was black? I don't think I knew that. So these are the beaches you probably don't swim in. <laughs> Look at what kind of rock this is. Because all of it's black. I wonder if they all come from uh, up there, like from mountain slides and shit. Wouldn't that be horrible if a big boulder just broke off and crushed my car? Oh, I'd be pissed. I'd be so mad. Oh god, I hope I don't jinx myself. trees. This is some tall fucking trees. <laughs> I told Amanda when I left that I was gonna record some big fucking trees for her to see. So these are the, well, these are the tall fucking trees. I'm hoping to see the sequoias right outside. Well, I, I broke down whatever the name of this highway is and there's a park that I'm gonna go to. Jedediah or something like that. Um, but apparently they have some sequoias in there. Probably kind of boring, like just you know, video of driving, but I like it. I think it's cool. 
and like some of this stuff, like you know, some of these places don't have a pull off, and it is really beautiful. I suppose if you're from this area, it's really boring. I miss big trees like this. Sure, I mean, you know, Monterey had palm trees. And the weather is actually pretty similar. <laughs> but, you know, you see some beautiful things just driving sometimes. Also, this is my digital log, so it's awesome. Wow, it actually looks less foggy through my camera. Of course, now I can't see when it's recording, but, you know, I trust that it's amazing or something. Yeah, that's a little bit awkward, I don't really trust myself to do that. There was one section that I was just at that, uh, yeah, it was really cool you drive along this cliff face, but it was like, uh, you know, a uh, bunch of rock next to me, a very narrow two-lane highway, and then a railing, and then death. <laughs> So I was like, oh, I wish I could record this. Then I'm like, oh, no, never mind. <laughs> I need to focus. Because <laughs> it was all curvy and shit. These curves are like, oh, my God. Yeah, no, thank you. Thanks, Doc. He keeps telling me that, and I'm not sure why. I kind of wish I knew what triggered that response. <laughs> Maybe he's, like, losing me or something. Like, like I get on no, no cell phone service up here. And I haven't, I think, probably since I left Arcata. I keep forgetting what time of day it is. I'm like, man, well, basically I'm just seeing, for the most part, semi-drivers. It's like, oh yeah, it's like freaking six o'clock in the morning. Doy. I chose to only go. I was like, I turned down the radio. Okay, alright, alright. We're getting back in the curves again. I gotta stop. 